Welcome back to Fallout 2 and we just killed a whole bunch of aliens. Look at those bunch of bodies. We've got our pulse rifle equipped, but our laser weapons are not so great. But we've got to level up, so let's level up. Ah, damn, I was hoping for a perk. Because there's a perk for um, a tag weapon, a tag skill, and I would really like to tag energy weapons, but I guess we'll just dump our points into energy weapons for now. Here we go. At least get it up to 50%. Makes it acceptable to use an energy weapon. Done. Anyway, there's a few things we're doing down here. Uh, we can't loot these bodies, right? Means centaur. You see the remains of a centaur. Okay. Well, we can't loot the bodies, but there's this woman over here in the corner. So let's go talk to her. I help me. I've, I've just killed everything. Oh, she's following. Well, all right. But I also came down here to check out these computers. Can I use these computers? Thank you for all your help. I'm going to find Badger. Okay. I guess I gotta go talk to Badger after this. Where does this staircase lead to, actually? Messy underpants. Blue crystal gem. Dragon Chrysophy. The purple gaming. Welcome to the stream. Now, where was the staircase? There was a staircase right here. I missed it. Huh. Let's head back down. We've got the navcom to use. Luca Bizarri. Just wanted to say your content is amazing. Thank you so much. Glad you're enjoying it. Um, the navcom is down here, though. Is this a... You see a keyless entry system. A sign reads, use tanker fob here. Okay, so I gotta use the tanker fob. Okay, let's go to the bag. The tanker fob is uh, this thing, right? You gain 2,000 experience points. Click, the light on the back panel turns green. All right, let's make sure we don't miss anything here. No, just the ladder. Let's go up to the navcom. All right. So this is the navigational computer. This one. Poseidonet navigational computer. Beep. Terminal malfunctioning. Require nav comp installation. Okay. Can I just use the nav comp part? This one. Navigational computer online. Log off. Anything else if I just use it? I gain another 2,000 experience points. All right. Now we gotta go find Badger as well. Who's Badger? I must have missed a quest to go save a woman. Can I? No, there's nothing down here, I think. There's like some generators and stuff. Now, who's Badger? Cal? Suze is back. Good. A male punk. A male punk. Female punk. Male punk. Female punk. These are just generic characters, right? That one looks different. Oh. They might just look different. Who's Badger? Oh, Badger is here. This guy. Did I... I talked to this guy. Did I not... Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't thank you enough for saving her. What do you want? Well, I have some questions. I'm looking for some fuel. I could, um, I could take a gander at the mainframe for you. Can you? It'll cost you. What's the price? I think I like you enough that I can do it for you now. <laughs> uh, who do you want me to visit? The she. Because I killed all the hubologists. I can get them. They're pretty protective of their info and they got some serious ice protecting their machines. Are you sure you want me to go after them? Yes, I need what they have. All right. But shit might hit the fan, huh? Can you transfer the fuel from their reserves to the tanker? All right. Check back with me in a day or so and I'll let you know. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Does that mean they're going to hate me now? But uh, that's going to... 
5,000 experience points. Okay, well, 15 karma. Well, the she might hate me, but uh, we just need the tanker running. He said come back in a day or two. I like Zeus. Oh, look at that. Badger is the... Uh, ah, yes. Okay. So... Basically, I just gotta check back with him in a couple of days, and the tanker will be running, right? Because I've installed a navcom part. Oh, I got access to the navcom. Installed the navcom part. Get the fuel. That's it, right? I suppose we could just rest for a couple of days. What is the... <laughs> some of the dialogue? Anyway, let's uh, put this under a new save, just in case. Did I just not name that? Badger. I didn't know you could leave, have a blank save. And I guess we'll just rest for two days. Um, rest... What time is it now? 22? Rest until party is healed and we'll just... Go two days. So that's one day. And that's two days. Wait, how do I stop? There we go. Huh. <sighs> I'll put the quick save on Badger here. Talk to you. Okay, I got into the she computers. I don't know if I made it uh, out undetected. I guess now the best thing to do is hide. You want anything else? Did you get what I needed? Yeah, I got the fuel. I've gone up a level. <laughs> Thanks a lot. See ya. I feel like these quests are designed to boost your levels by a couple before you get to the Enclave. 5,000 experience points. Leveled up again? Yes! Okay, good. So, anything new here? Bonus move, don't need that. Cautious nature, comprehension, empathy, explorer, gain charisma, intelligence, luck, perceptions, strength, healer, uh -huh. Life giver, light step, magnetic person, master trader, medic, fix it, mutate. Pack rat, presence, quick pockets, quick recovery, ranger, salesman, scout, sharpshooter. Talent at shooting things at a distance. There's tag. If we go tag, it basically means that skill goes up twice as fast. I think that's what I want. I want to tag energy weapons and just boost it up. Yep, that's pretty much it. Tag. Your skills have improved to the point where you can pick an additional tag skill. Tag skills increase twice as fast. Done. Oh! I just realized. If I was going to tag, I should have saved my skill points from before. Do I have a save? Like, I want to do this. If I tag it, it goes up to 90. And then I could boost it up to... 114. That's actually good, but... Where was my last save? This one. Is this... Can I just load back here? This is once we've killed everything? Alright, alright. <laughs> I'm gonna save the skill points. Let me just rush through this again. I just realized I should have saved the skill points. You don't have to spend them. All right, let's let's quickly go through this. We'll do this, do this, use this. Quickly repair. The n Come on, get up the ladder. Ah, you guys joining me at four a.m. Revi. Let's fix the navcom. That's the navcom part. Navigational computer online. Gaining the XP. All right, let's let's rush back up here. You guys would never forgive me if I just wasted those experience points. So, well, the skill points rather. Let's go talk to Badger.
What does Suze say, by the way? You saved my life. I'll answer any questions you have. What were you doing down there? It's kind of stupid, really. I was just exploring because Badger was on the computer, and when I went downstairs, got lost. Next thing you know, I'm surrounded by monsters. Good thing you came along. More questions. Did you find anything interesting? I found the room I was in. I also found a room that looked like a fueling area. Didn't get much further because of the monsters. More questions. Where are you from? South of the Boneyard, south of the Glow. We're not too far from the sea. I used to be a nanny, but the kids mutated into monsters. Huh. How did you meet Badger? He came down south and went to a club I used to go to. So when things fell apart for me, I thought this would be a, the place to go. Okay, goodbye. Badger. I have some questions. I'm looking for some fuel. Can you? What's your price? The she? Can I say the Hubologist? Let me say neither, just checking. Let me save right here. Under Badger. Let me try to say the Hubologist, because if we can piss off the Hubologist. Like stealing candy from a baby, they'll never find me. What do you want from them? Oh, they don't have anything, okay. Can you... What's your price? The she? Yes, I need what they have. Transfer the fuel reserves to the tanker. Thanks, bye. Did I? Uh, oh wait. Do I have to wait the two days? It said 13 there. We got the experience here. Did you get what I needed? Thanks a lot. See ya. Okay. It's hubologist, not hubologist. Is it hubologists? Is that how you pronounce it? I'm not too sure. Anyway, uh, character. Now let's go ahead and tag energy weapons. So it immediately goes up by like 20%. And now we got 36 points. It still ends there. Does tagging work differently? Is it that when you tag it at a higher percentage, it increases more? I didn't know it did that. Oh well, energy weapons over 100%. Oh, remember the area, the hub. Oh, the hubologist. Oh, okay. Didn't know. Um, okay. Well, energy weapons is over 100%, so that's good. My small guns is at 150%. Still a bit better, but we're not sniping with this rifle. Anyway, we can save here. Ah. Fallout 2 is the best Fallout? Yeah. Zach Baulecki. Now, tanker should be done. Okay, how do you pilot this rig? Well, I see you've already gassed her up. When you've taken care of... Wait, wait. Everything else, just press the button. The computer will take care of the rest, if it's still working. It'll sail right out to the oil rig unless that old sub blows it up, which I've already disabled. But at least you won't have to worry about the Enclave firing at you because you've got the IFF transponder. Just make sure you've got what you need to access everything. FOB, working computer, and fuel. Easy enough, huh? Press the button. This button? Welcome to PoseidoNet. The terminal is limited to transmissions between the one tanker, PMZ Valdez, and the docking rig. Command, check status. Fuel tanks full, cargo hold empty, navigational computer functional, mooring lines attached. Back. Let's go. 
A cinematic. Haha, <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, yes. What does that say? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Full speed ahead. <laughs> Why is there a, a, a stitched doll? Okay. Oh, I do not remember seeing this. This is epic. Wow. Ooh. Oh, we're just trashing the whole dockyard. And there we go. Off to the final area of the game, basically. The enclave on the oil rig. And I remember Matt in the Brotherhood said something about your president. I think the enclave is... The U.S. government, basically. You are crazy not healing your party? I'll just use stim packs. It's fine. There's those weird flashes <laughs> between the scenes, but it's okay. Oh, looking at the stars. Stars don't change much in a couple hundred years. Have I not played Fallout 2? I played it a long time ago. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, in the late 90s is when I last played it, I think. Uh, here we go, docking. Beside an oil IFF transponder recognized. Docking complete, target reached. Navcom disengaged. Welcome to the Enclave. We're here. Stim packs can cause addiction. Ah, it's okay. Oh, this screen is small. Never thought you'd keep an old timer like me around this long. Let's get this job done and go home. Marcus said something as well. You gained 15,000 experience points for getting here. So you can see this game was not built for widescreen. 15,000 experience points. We're gonna level up again. All right. This calls for a new save. Enclave. Now, what is my party's health right now? I could rest a little while. No harm, right? We can just rest until party is healed. <laughs> and we'll just let the days pass. Oh, we've arrived at the Enclave. Let's just sleep right at the entrance for a while. No one would mind, it's okay. My hit points slowly going up, look at that. Go in full HP? Yeah. Ten more ticks here for me. Don't know about the other party members. Oh no, twenty more ticks, sorry. Ten more now. There we go. We've waited here like a week. <laughs> ah, that calls for a new save. Enclave. Everyone's full HP now. Alright, where's the way up? We came from here? So... Oh, that is... Turrets. I can get a second gek here if I want? Well... Do I have to kill these turrets? We'll find out. If we can just walk right through? There's a computer terminal. Welcome to Poseidon Net. Enter menu selection. Help. We regret that your help files are currently out of date and unavailable. Seek help file update? 
Yes. User help file not update not available with trial PosidoNet software. Please purchase full version for full access to all further updates. A trial period for PosidoNet access is 59,439 days overdue. All right, back to log on. Log on, enter user ID. I think I better do this somewhere else, yes. End session. Don't want to hack that one. So there's two ways to go. Can I just open this door? Okay, so I can go that way or down. I suppose we could check this. No? I can't use the elevator? I guess not. Let's go this way. Ah. Anything to check here? No? What? What? Marcus just immediately died. <laughs> F7. Well, that happened. How do you even deal with that? I mean... Maybe, was I supposed to step onto the elevator? Oh, I can step on the elevator. Okay, choose a ship level. Vertebird unloading pad. Entry hall. Vertebird unloading pad? Okay, there is another way to go. There's some robots around here. There's a Mr. Handy over there. Reactor core. Power plant machinery. And there's that door. Can I talk to that Mr. Handy? Proceed through work area with caution. Okay, let's check this workbench. What is this? A water chip. Guess we could always do with another one of those. Beep boop, okay. I can use the vertebrate? It says you can't get there. Okay, that's fine. There's a reactor core. I wonder if I can blow that up. What's through here? Are you guys talking Fallout in the comments? If Caesar's Legion falls, the NCR will probably try to take over. What's this? There's a computer, a large monitor, and a war room table. I can use this computer. Very good. No? Can I science this computer? You fail to learn anything. Okay, well there's only one other place for me to go. Entry hall. Oh, we're back here. Really? So there's only one place to go? Huh. Hmm. There was no computer I could use down there, right? There's only two levels. This is the entry hall. Well, I walked out the other way and we died immediately. Well, Marcus died immediately. Really, there's nothing? Reactor core. These wires are connecting the bomb to the computer. Wait, what? 
You see wires. Satellite dish. Wait, what? These wires are connecting the bomb to the computer. What bomb? These wires are going... To the satellite dish. Huh. Could I blow this up? It says, yeah, these wires are connecting the bomb to the computer. Can I use C4 on this? That does nothing. Huh. Well, maybe that turret just got a lucky shot off. Let's, uh, let's try that one more time. Back to the entry hall. That's nice that we can hear seagulls here. All right. Should I try blow up that reactor? I should try blow up that reactor, right? We'll just quick save here so we can just pop back up. I'm gonna try drop a bomb next to that reactor core. See if it shuts things down. Uh, vertebrate unloading pad. So this is just power plant machinery. Saturn class capacitor machine for the reactor. That's the reactor core. I can't like science it or something, right? Oh well, let's try blow it up. We're gonna use this. Everyone back out. Then again, that's a reactor core. If we blow it up, doesn't that just kill everyone? No, it doesn't do anything. All right. Let's try this again. Hopefully, Marcus doesn't die. Okay, he didn't die immediately. I was hit for 40 though. Sulik was hit for 61. This thing has 75 hit points, 800 shots. Heavy dual minigun. Let's see how quickly we can kill it. That dealt. How much damage is it doing? I can shoot. It has two hit points. I can shoot three times. Okay. I can kill it. Cannot end with hostiles nearby. Sulik uses stim pack. All right, here they come. No, 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 guys, don't don't charge forward. I should have changed there. Well, here they come. I don't know if I can kill these guys. What? That is insane. Are you serious? Marcus, you gotta back out. Marcus is dead. I'm just gonna fight. Didn't you see the big computer a couple screens back? I did, but I couldn't use it. Is it possible to turn those off? Well, let's fight these guys a bit. I killed that guy in one shot, critical hit. So I do okay against these guys, but there's a lot of them. <laughs> there's so many. It lets you turn the starts off. You guys sure? Let, let me go back. The big computer, um, the big computer console, what, the, the one downstairs? Or, or rather at the, the vertebrate place? This thing, 
Like, I, I did wonder if I could use this. You see terminal. So you can't use it. Are you talking about a different computer console? Am I supposed to be able to use this? Turrets won't attack if you don't bring your teammates. Or they have to be wearing power armor. Okay, that makes sense. Let, let's give that a shot. So all my teammates are wearing power armor except for Marcus and Goris. So let's leave them here. Messy underpants. This is why live streams are great. Yeah, you get to learn this stuff. Goris. I need you to wait here until I come back. That's it for now. Marcus, get over here. Don't want those turrets to suddenly what do you start. Want? Okay, here we go. I need you to wait here until I come back. No I'll death claws. Stay here and tighten. Yes, no death claws, no super super mutants. Just Sulik and Cassidy in power armor. Okay. Let's try that. They totally still attack you. <laughs> Almost killing us immediately. There must be another way. This, this doesn't seem right. Maybe if I just go by myself? What you be needing? Consult the spirits. Spirits be willing to talk. What you they telling? don't want to talk, right? What okay. you be? Spirits be willing to talk. What you want. Okay, never mind. You guys wait what here. You be needing? Want to take a little nap? Talk to Grampy Boy. Okay. Cassidy. What's up? You got that? Um, that shouldn't happen. It might be part of uh, the... All right, then. The, the mod. The restoration pack. If I go by myself... Oh, is it because I'm holding weapons? Let's find out. That totally... No? It didn't shoot? Wait, did it just glitch out? I have infinite movement points. <laughs> um, well, here's a glitch. This definitely shouldn't be happening. Ooh, let's run around. Can I talk to you? It's... it's... Oh wait, no, I thought I was in combat. So it's not because of... I thought we entered combat because that thing activated. I guess not. But... The red lights were on here, that's why I was confused. Let me try ask these guys to put their what weapons away. What you be need? Uh... Talk to you about your gear. You got it. Sounds good. That's it for now. What's up? You got that. Let's go. All right then. Yeah. Talk My about gear. your gear. Put your sure. weapon away. Okay. And we'll put our weapon away as well. Does this... Okay. So I have to go by myself, basically. All right. What you be need? Need you to wait here till I come back. We be here. That's it for now. Wouldn't the chosen one be alive during the events of New Vegas? I'm not sure. Isn't that like a, like a, bit later? Why can I not get to Cassidy? What's up? You got that? Wait here. Well. That's it for now. Okay. So we have to go in alone, basically. So see the the lights go red. But let's clear that off. Okay. So people generally aren't holding their weapons out. Alright, so we're in. And we're not being shot at because I'd rather not have to fight all these people. Let's not draw attention to ourselves though. There's some nice lockers over there. Sector 7 clear. 
I'm sure glad I'm not on the mainland. Hmm. I can kill the president with seven super stims. I suppose that's one way of doing it. My next shift isn't for a few hours. Okay. It's the same shame about Vice President Bird. Huh. What happened to Vice President Bird? These guys are all standing at the Gamma team reporting in. Move along. Sector 7 clear. Section B, all clear. These guys look like they're in charge. What are you looking at? Bravo team reporting in. These are all people in power armor. Security robot. It does not respond to you. Rocket launchers. So they just have a bunch of weapons, right? More rocket launchers. If you wanted a supply of rocket launchers, they have plenty of rocket launchers. So basically, I'm here to rescue my people more than anything else. But the game heavily implies these laser rifles. What am I using? I'm using a pulse rifle. So in case you weren't equipped, Avenger minigun. If you weren't equipped before this, you are equipped now. <laughs> Plastic explosives? Just as I see some in the locker there. So there's ammo and ammo for the weapons, basically. Don't worry, I got plastic explosives on me. <laughs> Ooh. Can't carry anymore. Is that more power armor? I suppose if you... We'll take the C4. Oh, it's okay. I'm, I'm carrying one, right? Yeah, I still got one. That's fine. So... There's a set of power armor there, so I'm guessing maybe in the original you could um, bring your companions if they wore power armor. Anyway, there's some scientists down there. That looks like a canteen of sorts. This looks like some loading area. Person in a vault suit, powered armor, powered armor. Couple lockers here. The Avenger minigun is a laser minigun. Ah, fascinating. Marcus might want that. Okay, can't really do anything here. I don't want to open those lockers in front of them. Ooh. Can I... There's a little room here. All these people are just people in power armor. Oh, I can check these boxes. Sometimes you can search these boxes, sometimes you can't. Oh well. We've been going for a while. How, how long has this part been? Seems like there's a staircase there, though. Jody's home now, smoking grass, Jody's pumping your wife's... Oh, is that, that's how they put musical notes. <laughs> okay. Um, is that just open? There's a turret there. You see no way in which to open the door. Huh, there must be another way. How do you get back here? This connects to there, connects to there. Wait, how do you... Oh, it's open there. <laughs> monitor, monitor. I don't see any computers or anything. All these are generic power armor dudes. A shower? Okay. I can search the these boxes, but it, they're empty. grenades. Basically, if I fight, I'll be obliterated, right? 
Huh. I'm not sure where to go from here. Well, basically, I need to get past this door, but I don't see any way of opening that door. Right? You see sturdy blast doors. They seem to meld into the floor and ceiling. They're blast doors. Why is there a pot here? Guns and bullets. <laughs> okay, well, we don't need that. Hmm, I'm not sure where to go, but I think we've been going long enough anyway. I gotta bring this part to a close. I don't see anyone specific to talk to either. They're all just generic person in power armors. That's an Enclave Trooper. This is Enclave Trooper, Enclave Trooper. These are all Enclave Troopers. Those robots don't respond to me. I can't use that terminal. These are monitors. There's a picture there. This guy looks important. He's got his own bedroom, but he just says Enclave Trooper. A researcher? I haven't talked to these people. No? None of them. Person in power armor, Enclave Trooper. Did I talk to you? What is that? A super sledge. A forklift. It's inoperable. Huh. Well, I'm gonna have to figure it out. But we've been going for quite a while, but we finally made it to the Enclave, and we gotta find our people to rescue them. That's priority number one. That's why we're here in the first place. But Goris wants to take revenge as well. Fighting everyone on this screen. Is that scientist always there? Fighting everyone on this screen seems like a bad idea. But yeah, I gotta bring this stream to a close. I'm just gonna talk to this guy. Is he anyone? No, he just says bugger off. All right, I'm gonna have to find out who I'm supposed to talk to or where I'm supposed to go. But for now, I'm gonna bring this stream to a close. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'm pretty sure next weekend, next Sunday, we're gonna finish Fallout 2, finally. It's gonna come to an end. Yeah, but for now, that's it from me. My name's been GamerZack. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for joining the stream. Revi, Messi underf Underpants, Andrew Mejia, Masaki Inoue, Dragon Chrysophy, whoever else is still in the chat. <laughs> Revi, did I mention your name? Revi. Good night, good evening, good morning. Mr. Cout 970 goodbye and i will see you in the next video bye